In this video, we'll talk about the change of base formula for logarithms. We use the change of base formula to convert from logarithms of one base to logarithms of another base. We see the equation here, and there's a nice way to remember where the different letters go. If you see the base of the logarithm on the left-hand side is on the bottom of the fraction on the right-hand side, and the value inside the logarithm on the left-hand side is on the top of the logarithm on the right-hand side. And then the base a on the right-hand side can actually be whatever value we want. So typical choices for a are the number 10, just because we have a log base 10 button on our calculator, or we can use that fancy number e, because the log base e is the natural logarithm, and we also have a button for that on our calculator. Before we talk about why the change of base formula works, let's just look at a quick example of how to use it. So let's say we wanted to know what the log base 2 of 13 is to four decimal places. Well, according to the change of base formula, the log base 2 of 13 is the log base a of 13 divided by the log base a of 2 for any value of a we like. And again, remember that rule. The 2 is the base of the logarithm on the left-hand side, and so that's on the bottom of the fraction. And the 13 is inside the logarithm on the left-hand side, so that's on the top of my fraction. Okay, so what value should we use for a? Well, again, we want to use our calculator for this, and our calculator doesn't have a log base 2 button, but it does have a log base 10 button, and it also has a log base e button. So let's use that log base e button, also known as natural log, or ln. So on our calculators, we're just going to type in ln of 13 divided by ln of 2. And when we do that, we get 3.7004, and so on. And we were asked for four decimal places, so that's the answer that we'll give. Now I want to just talk briefly about why the change of base formula works. So let's look at the three logarithms that are involved in our change of base formula. The log base a of b, the log base b of c, and the log base a of c. I'm going to give these first two logarithms names. I'm going to call the log base a of b, I'm going to call that n, and the log base b of c, I'm going to call that m. So the log base a of b, that equals n, and we know that we can convert that logarithmic equation into an exponential equation, which looks like a to the n equals b. Similarly, because the log base b of c equals m, converting that to an exponential equation gives us a b to the m equals c. So now I want to combine these two equations together. I know that a to the n equals b, so I'm going to substitute that value for b into the second equation. So what I get is a to the n to the m equals c. And by our rules of exponents, when we raise a power to a power, we multiply the two powers together. So a to the n times m equals c. But if we convert that back to a logarithmic equation, that tells us that the log base a of c is n times m. So that means that I take this first logarithm, log base a of b, and multiply it by the second logarithm, the log base b of c. What that gives me is the third logarithm, the log base a of c. So this equation comes out of that analysis. And if I take that equation and divide both sides by the log base a of b, so divide both sides of this equation by this first logarithm, what you'll see is that I actually get the exact change of base formula that we were talking about. 